Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, today I got a couple of pickups from uh, FYE today. Uh, here it is. Uh, I left from college to go to the store to get some DVDs. So uh, I got Diva South of the Border. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can't. Right. I got it for five dollars each. Four of these got. I mean, four of them are like five dollars. Uh, so I decided to get them. So I never see them that low, but I decided to get them because you're not gonna pass up that opportunity soon. Um, and then I got uh, Viva Las Vegas. Diva, sorry, uh, not Vegas. I hope these are documentaries. Uh, they're not. They're not. But divas are hot. And I was coming up to the ranger. The woman was looking at me like, "What are you looking at? God damn!" <laughs> she made this face like, like that look. I mean, like I just couldn't hold it, and I just busted out laughing. I mean, think about it. A guy going for these WWE Diva DVDs. That's like a pervert. <laughs> but, that's alright. But No problem with that. But And then I got uh, Brian Pillman uh, Loose Cannon. I heard this was a good uh, documentary according to WWE uh, DVD News dot com. Um... I never usually see this one this long, but, uh, and I wanted to learn about Brian Pillman, since he did the, uh, iconic, uh, scene where he held up the gun to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Some say that was real, some people say that was scripted, but, personally, that looked to me real. I mean, it didn't look like it was scripted, but... It could be fake, but I understand it if it's fake, but they can't say the wrestling is fake. The wrestling's real, but the injuries aren't fake. But you can tell which is a fib and what's not really a fib, but anyways, um and then I got WWE legendary moments. I wanted to see this one, but uh hopefully it's as good. It's supposed to be old, I think. Uh, I think 2000 something. Four, I believe, two? Something like that. Um, I thought I was supposed to get the uh, Money in the Bank anthology today. I mean, yesterday. Um, on the 29th. But they didn't ship it. But I noticed in the stores, they have them already out in the FYE. And I didn't... What's the point of pre-ordering things if you're not going to get it on time? So, um... I might not pre-order things anymore because you're getting them days later than on time. But uh, other than that, I am waiting for my uh, Money in the Bank anthology. So I'll make a vlog on that about unboxing and everything, but we'll see. I'm not sure when it's going to come in. Someone said it was coming out November 1st. Some people like Stevie Breach uh, got it yesterday. The day of release. I expect my pre order to be on time, not like five days later, but they say on the paper it says November first to fifth. But it's a DVD, so I can't complain, but it's not like it's gonna expire or anything, but I can't wait to see it, but apparently they're supposed to be cutting out Chris Benoit on it, out out of it because they don't wanna speak that guy because uh, the way he killed his family he suffocated his kids and his pants no not his pants uh, his wife sorry. Uh, other than that stay tuned for my next uh, vlog not sure what's gonna be hopefully it's the uh, the vlog of the money in the bank anthology and in December I'm supposed to be getting a uh, the Raw 20th Anniversary Collection Set. So stay tuned for that too. <laughs>
I'm going to be unboxing it both of them. Anyways. So, hope you guys have fun. Peace!